Hey guys, and welcome back to Daniska Projects. My name is Taylor, and in today's video, I'm going to make a retro Fallout themed computer terminal. Now for this project, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi. This is the third generation Raspberry Pi. Now for the screen, I pulled this LCD screen out of an old laptop. The only problem with this is it uses LVDS. And to go from the Raspberry Pi's HDMI output to this LVDS screen, I will be using this LVDS controller board. So I have here in front of me the templates that I am going to use to make the sheet metal enclosure. So now all I have to do is make it out of sheet metal. Three days later. Wow, that was easy. So here's the enclosure that I made. This actually took about three days to make. This piece will hold the keyboard and the screen. This piece is the top part of the enclosure. And this here is the base that will have the Raspberry Pi and the controller board. All right, so next up, I'm gonna clean these up and then shoot some paint on them. A little longer than a few minutes later. Now I ended up swapping the keycaps from the original keyboard and I found that my old um, Packer Bell keyboard, PS2 keyboard, the keycaps actually fit. When I was designing the case, I was basing it off of an old Beckman system. So I figured why not just call it Deckman and the, uh, the XT100 I just made up. So I posted a picture of this thing a couple days ago on Reddit on three different subreddits. And I got a number of comments back of people telling me that I should add a power light, a power LED. So let's go ahead and pop this cover off and let's go do that. All right, so I finished the assembly and I've already gone ahead and loaded up some software on it. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. and I am running Emulation Station as the front end. So when it boots up, you get to the screen right here, and this just lets you pick what system you want to emulate. Um, let's go ahead and pull up DOS. And so it's not too exciting, but I do have Windows 3.1 loaded up. And I've also got it set up to run NES games. And there we have it, the Deckman XT100 not so vintage computer. <laughs> you know, if you like that video, you should subscribe to my channel. You too.